What's up, embroidery homies? In today's video, we're going to be deciding a very simple design that will most likely remind you of your childhood. Growing up, I personally played Pokemon. I loved Pokemon. My first game was uh, Fire Red, then I got Leaf Green, then I got Ruby, Sapphire, and finally got Emerald just to catch Rayquaza. And then the last game I ever played was Pokemon Dungeon Red Rescue Team. So if you guys played Pokemon, uh, in the comment section, comment down below who was your favorite Pokemon. Okay, here is the Pokeball that we will be digitizing today. Super simple design. will most likely not even take us 10 minutes to make. First, we're going to make our border, make our background objects, and then work our way to the front. All right, so I'm going to go and start with the circle border, and then we're going to make our outlines, and then we're going to work from the object around the back to the front. So for our circle border, we're just going to click column C. We're going to right click. Because remember, right click is for curves, and that's what we need to make the circle. Back over here, enter, and then we're going to pick how thick we want it. There we go. Change that to black. Connector jump. All right, let's go ahead and do these outlines. So, again, you could just use the column C tool, or you could use the column A tool if you want as well. I'm going to start it off right here. Right click, straight click, right click, right click, right click, straight here, and curve it. I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pick the thickness of it. I'm gonna do it like that. Then I'm gonna click on the run stitch. Cause it's it's gonna this gonna this border is gonna cover this up. Go down over here. Enter again. Column C. Curve it. Right click right here because we're gonna change the direction of the curve. Straight curve. Curve, enter, enter. That's what we have right now. So we're going to change these to black. Click on the last one. We're going to make that a jump. So now we're going to do the inside border. Column T again. Well, first, let's do the little one. Right click, right click, right click, right click. Here. Enter. Pick your thickness, and then we're gonna do this one over here. Right click, right click, right click, right click, and then back over here. You pick the thickness. There we go. Select both of these, black, and then connect jump. That's what we have right now. Okay, so now let's rearrange it. So we're going to start with this one and hold shift and click on the last one. We're going to drag this to the top of that circle border. So now it's under. That's what we have. Okay, we're going to do the top part. We're going to click on the red. We're going to use the complex fill. We're going to go around our border right here. Try to stay like in the in the middle the most that you can. Enter. I'm about to change that. Great, enter. Okay, it fixed it. So I'm going to put the end point and the end point over here, and I'm just going to put it slanted. But since I did a complex fill, it only has one angle, which for this one, it's fine. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to click connectors, jump. So on the next one, it doesn't, the thread doesn't run to, to the other object. So now we're going to pick white. Actually, no. 
is going to be gray. So I'm going to get a complex fill. No, actually, complex turning, huh? Yeah, I'm going to do complex turning for this one. Okay, so we're going to do the. Actually, we're going to do the complex fill. I'm going to do it right here. Curve it. Great. Curve, curve, curve. I'm going to get to like the middle part right here. And then curve, curve, curve. Enter, enter point, exit point, and I'm going to put it planted. Shift M to make it to Tommy. I'm going to change the colors at the end. So for this one, it is, I'm, I'm going to make it like its own um object. Complex turning. Let me just select this. This and I'm gonna hide. That way nothing's in my way. Complex turning. I'm gonna start it off right here. Curve, 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 curve. And right here. Curve. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. And now I have to do the inside. So because I want it to be, I don't want all of this to be folded in. So I'm going to click where the borders are here and I'm going to click, I'm going to right click. Basically just remake this circle. Right click, right click, right click. And back over here, right click, enter. So it'll, that, that won't be filled in. Filled in. So I'm going to hit enter again. And put start point over here, end point over here. And I'm just going to give it its uh, turns. Enter. That could actually be that could actually be a satin stitch. Okay. Actually, if I want it to be satin stitch, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make it run. To this side here. Enter. I'm actually gonna make this over here first before I make this. So I'm gonna click on H and I'm gonna switch this start and the endpoint and multiple top. Start over here. Okay, so first I gotta do this one now. So complex fill. Straight point, curve, curve, straight point, curve, curve, straight, straight, curve, curve, straight, no, curve, straight. So enter, start right here, end right here. Give it angle, again, shift them. So we're going to put that before the border right here. I'm going to click on unhide all. So this is what we have right now. Again, remember this is going to go before those outlines. So this one, I'm going to have to click it. Connectors, jump. So we have, okay. Sure gone first. That's what we have right now. And then we got to do the inside. Okay, same thing applies. We're going to do this circle. We're going to make it a uh, satin. And then we're going to do the inside of satin as well. Let me see. Let me hide these. So yeah, I don't get distracted from the other object. So complex turning. Curve, 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 curve. Back to this one. Enter. And then make the same thing over here. Curve, curve. Curve, curve, enter, enter, exit, and then give it angles, enter, so this is going to be white, and then again, jump, add this one as well, you got to do the inner circle now, so complex, fill, right click, right click, right click, right click, and then back over here, enter, Enter, start, exit, and then give it its own angle. I'm just going to make it straight across. Okay. Um, what is it going to be? White. White. Okay, so now both of these are going to go before the outlines. Connectors, jump. And how? Make the, the inner one first, then I'm going to do this one. 
Right. Okay. So now I do the outside the Tommy. So let me see. I'm actually gonna cover this whole the whole part of it. And I'm gonna tell you why in a bit. So we're at the white again. Click right here. Curve. Curve. Straight. Curve. 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 Great right here. Right across. Curve. Curve straight. Enter. Now put enter, exit, and then give it angle. Again, shift M. Drag it to the top. Actually, this will. This, I'll make this one first before all those extra outlines. Jump. This is what we have right now. Only thing we have to do is one, two, three, three shadows. All right, so I don't have certain ones because I think I only have one thread chart. I'm gonna add Polyneon on 40. I think it was called Granite. Granite. Yeah, Granite. So I'm gonna make the dark one dark gray and then I'm gonna make the other one Forecast gray. What kind of gray do we have? Had it gray. Select these for the iron gray. This one still look like the old color. All right, I'm actually gonna make these um, granite. Okay, so for um, this one, for these objects, I actually found the color for it. I'm gonna put a dark pewter. And then I'm gonna have to find another color for this darker um, outline. All right, so let's do our shadows right now. So for our shadows, we got this, this white right here. Go ahead, click complex fill. I'm gonna have to change it to white in a bit. Enter, start, exit, and then give it its angle. We're gonna get it slanted, white. It could actually be, I can make it to Tommy, or I can make it um, a satin. But I think I'm gonna go with satin. I'm gonna put, let me see, it looks better, 0. 0.8, and I'm probably gonna change the angle. Let's see, 135, 136. Uh, kind of like too light, huh? Let me change the start and end point. Put them both at the top. The underlay, I don't want no underlay. All right. Those. I don't want it like too thick, but then I don't want it too thin either. Looks better. 70. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it at 70. And then, that and count, probably three. That's how many times it'll go back and forth. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at one. That way it doesn't make it too thick. Click on it, connectors, jump, and then again, move that up. And then we're gonna do this, th this gray right here. So for that gray, I'm going to go ahead and click on complex turning. Okay, this right here. Gray curve. 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 Where did it end? Okay, over here. Curve, and then see where this one is at. Like over here. I'm going to take a bit more. Curve. Great. Enter. I don't want it to be like too much. There we go. Enter. Enter. Exit. And then give it turns. Again, change that spacing to 
What did I have the other one as? 0.7. I'm going to change this one again to 0.7. Probably 0.8 because it's a little bit thicker. Okay. okay. I think that's fine. Connector jump. Put it on top of it. So it's fine for it. And then the it's just this outline right here. This complex right here. Curve, curve, straight. Trigger to right here. And give it points. Enter, 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 exit, and then slant it just a bit. But this is not going to stay as, what is it? As iron gray, and it's not going to turn dark pewter with granite. I need something darker. I'm going to click on 15, I'm going to give it a different color. Here. That's black. Darkest night. I'm going to put it as darkest night. That's what it was. Like both of these connectors jump. So there we go with this R Pokeball. I feel like this red could be better. Let's see red. Tomato red. Okay, tomato red. Electric red. Electric red looks better. We got our white. Okay. So here is our design. The only thing I did notice, I forgot we got to add um, spacing to this one. We put a 0 0.7 as well. This is 0.8. Just flat out one. Yeah, I'll put it as 0.8. There we go. All right, so before we end the video, we actually got to add our underlay. So I'm going to click on our tatami objects. I'm going to click on underlays and I'm going to click tatami. And then that's it. Save it. Okay, so I did get a chance to embroider it. Here's the way it came out. I'm holding it at an angle. Here is the Pokeball. The only thing I would change is the center part. Um, it wasn't like the satin stitches were too far apart. So I, I should have added an underlay and lowered the spacing. I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. Okay, so this is what we would have done. We would click the center part. Change the spacing to 0.38. I would have added an underlay, edge run, and then a zigzag. And that would have been it. And then you could also add um, a setting count, but I think I would prefer it this way because if I go up, yeah, got that little indentation, which I don't want. So that's the way I would have done it. And you could probably give it an angle as well. Or I could just put it at zero. Zero, and I'm just going to make it start and start and stop at the bottom. There we go. That's the only change I would have done. Um, other than that, I think the design came out pretty good. So you guys see it again. All right, so here is the updated design. First is the original with the bad spacing on the center part. And this is with the adjusted uh, spacing. I prefer this one. And I also updated the color on the bottom one because the bottom one was too light. And this one's darker. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. More anime videos coming soon. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.